It gotta happen this year. And then if you beat him, will you beat other YouTubers? Will you go after, I don't know, like Mr. Beast or, uh, you know? It's a big possibility I might be the YouTube channel. Got to happen this year. And then if you beat him, will you beat other YouTubers? Will you go after I know like Mr. Beast? Or you know they're a big possibility and might be the YouTube champion Mike Tyson reacts to Jake Paul faking injury to cancel their upcoming fight. Meanwhile, Lennox Lewis, a former heavyweight champion, and one of the few fighters to have faced Mike Tyson in the ring has offered a unique perspective on the impending clash, unlike many who might view Tyson's age and ring rust as potential liabilities. Lewis is more concerned about the safety of Jake Paul Tyson's much younger opponent. He told The Guardian, I'm concerned for Jake Paul Tyson, still knows how to punch as you can see when he's hitting a bag if Jake Paul gets hit by one of those punches. He's going to feel it, I know. Jake Paul doesn't want to get hit. In addition to Tyson's punching power, Loomis highlights Tyson's tactical acumen, noting his ability to cut off the ring and apply relentless pressure on his opponents. This strategic prowess could spell trouble for Paul, especially if his defensive skills aren't up to par. Lewis questions the effectiveness of Paul's defense, suggesting that facing Tyson's aggressive style could prove to be a daunting challenge for the internet personality. Turned boxer, despite the concerns for Paul's safety, Lewis acknowledges Tyson's physical condition in the lead up to the fight having seen Tyson recently and observing his impressive physique and apparent readiness for the bout. Lewis believes that Tyson is preparing diligently for the challenge ahead. Tyson's commitment to training and his physical conditioning only served to heighten the potential danger for Paul in the ring. Lewis added Tyson comes forward and he knows how to cut off the ring. It could be a matter of time as how good is Jake Paul's defense. I saw Mike a couple of weeks ago, and he looked good. He was walking around without a shirt and showing off his body. So he's getting ready during a recent interview with Boxing King Media. Roy Jones Jr. sought to reassure fans while cautioning Paul likening Tyson to a pit bull, the journalist swiftly delved into the rule nuances, voicing concerns about the risks for both fighters drawing from his own experiences against Iron Mike's ferocity. Jones Jr. confidently stated that 16 gloves offered little protection against Tyson's power. Mike Tyson, Jake Paul, has officially announced 16 gloves two-minute rounds here. The last person to share their in with Mike Tyson is it you know is it too dangerous for a guy at that age or is it dangerous for jake paul they ain't wearing 16 gloves and hire to save mike tyson trust me when questioned about tyson's durability at 58 years old roy retorted that they were warriors undeterred by age when it came to enduring blows he underscored that their shared passion drove them regardless of the years Roy even suggested that if Tyson could attain the same peak condition he was in during their bout, Tyson would pose a significant challenge presenting a formidable threat to any opponent. What's it like at that age getting punched cause people are obviously raising that as a potential concern man listen. When you're a warrior it don't really matter said we warriors we don't care about getting punched care what age we are this. What we do if he can get in shape like he did with me to go 8 rounds he's troubled. He's a problem for anybody because he is IRM so as the conversation turned to labeling the bout as an exhibition match Roy wasted no time in issuing a stern caution. To Jake Paul, he asserted that they could categorize the fight however they pleased, but warned that Mike had no concept of holding back comparing Mike to a pit bull. He stressed that pit bulls don't engage in play. They fight this insinuated that regardless of its classification, the event would inevitably escalate into a serious confrontation as the discussion veered towards classifying the bout as an exhibition match. Jones Jenner L delivered a solemn caution to Jake Paul Jones stated that they could label the fight however they wished. He mentioned that Mike didn't know how to hold back likening him to a pit bull dog. He emphasized that pit bulls don't know how to play suggesting that the event would inevitably turn into a fight regardless of its classification, and they're labeling it an exhibition. 
But we saw with your fight with him, he wasn't holding back. He was like you don't know how to hold back. They can label where they want to end. Don't know how to hold back. Mix like a pit bull dog. A pit bull dog. Don't know how to play. He going to turn to a fight. Either way, Roy Jones Store expresses confidence that Mike Tyson will emerge victorious over Paul. Despite their considerable age difference, the accuracy of his prediction will only be determined on fight night. When the two fighters meet Jake Paul has ventured into battles against respected figures in combat sports, particularly in the USC. However, this venture hasn't spared him from criticism. Some argue that his wins were against opponents who were past their prime. Well, I don't know. Depends. No, Mike might not not trying to kill Jake, I don't think. But I do think you will put Jake in his place, you know. So I think it'll be a great exhibition. Think Michael show him. That you know if I want to, I can't kill you. And if he adheres to that, it'll be cool. If he don't adhere to it, then Mikkel do what he got to do, however. Paul is now entering the boxing ring with a sports legend, albeit at the age of 58, which signifies a major milestone in his career. Additionally, Paul has voiced his thoughts on confronting Mike Tyson, speaking on his podcast BS with Jake Paul. The problem child expressed his views, saying I'm a little scared because it is Mike Tyson. And I feel like when I look across the ring, I'm just going to have a wow moment that I'm actually about to fight Mike Tyson. Nevertheless, Mike Tyson's return to the boxing arena is stirring up waves of discussion. Opinions on this matchup are sharply divided, yet the date remains firm, with both fighters radiating confidence in their upcoming victory. Adding to the spectacle, Eddie Hearn, CEO of Matchroom Boxing, has shared his perspective on the impending showdown Hearn criticized about labeling it as disgusting. He conveyed his sentiments expressing that he found the situation rather sad. He expressed, I think we live in a crazy world, don't we, where that younger generation is built off views, built off narrative, built off controversy. Eddie recently appeared on the Fight Hub TV YouTube channel, where he conveyed his belief that Tyson's age places him at a disadvantage when facing athletes like Paul. He stressed that assessing Tyson's abilities solely from the brief training clips he shared is unjust in his capacity as the CEO of Matchroom Boxing. Eddie suggested that these clips fail to offer sufficient insight into Mike's actual skill set. He said, I might mean, look, I don't forget that Mike Tyson is one of the greatest fighters of all time. It is not like it's not like this. He's going to look at the pads. I mean, he was a former heavyweight world champion. He is 59 or 58, whatever I am glad I think they have said now. It is not a proper fight, Eddie remarked, that as a dedicated fight fan, deeply involved with boxing. Since the age of nine, he finds it disgraceful that a 58-year-old man who was his hero growing up even has to contemplate returning to the ring. He added, I find it disgusting that a 58-year-old man firstly has to even get back in the ring. From a financial point of view, with the amount of money that man was paid or partially paid during his career to get in a ring with a 25-year-old guy who can't really fight, he further mentioned that while he understood the event, he had conveyed his concerns to the Netflix team, sensing that they weren't pleased with his criticism of the event. Hearn emphasized his commitment to honesty stating that he would never sugarcoat his opinions. The promoter added it's going to make a huge amount of money. You can understand Netflix's approach. If Tyson doesn't win quickly, he can't win. I don't believe the other guy is much of a fighter, but he's fit and he trains. And his young earlier reports suggested that Tyson would have to undergo a series of medical examinations for the bout to be sanctioned as a professional match. However, the iconic boxer has now clarified the regulations surrounding the upcoming showdown. Moreover, we also know that the governing body has officially sanctioned this bout as a professional match. Listen on this is called the exhibition. But if you look up exhibition, you will not see any of the laws that were fighting under this as a fight. Moreover, Tyson refrained from delving into intricate details about the regulations. But acknowledge that Paul has transformed beyond the YouTuber he once knew from dancing videos. He emphasized that the problem child would step into the ring with the intention to cause harm a tactic he claimed to be well acquainted with, however. 
Tyson asserted that Paul is greatly mistaken. If he believes he will emerge victorious, he confirmed his desire to impart a lesson to Paul, but clarified that he held no grudges against his opponent, describing him as beautiful, you know, seen I have a weird personality. I don't think is weird, though. Whatever I'm afraid to do, I do it. And that's how it is I was afraid to for the Roy fight I scared to fight again. I was 100 pounds overweight. I was, however, old 54, 53. And I said, let's do it. Anything I'm afraid of, I uh, confront it. And that's my personality. Like right now, I'm, I'm scared to death. But as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become. Because it's reality and in reality, I'm invincible. Mike Tyson remains resolute in his decision to face Paul in the ring, despite facing criticism from various quarters. Tyson boldly rejects any suggestion that his age diminishes his influence in the boxing world. He highlights the significant 